welcome back. So in my last video, I showed you everything that I like to buy at my local Korean grocery store. And in this video, I'm actually going to cook with those ingredients and make some delicious noodles. So I couldn't decide on like which noodle dish I'm gonna make. So I decided to just make both of them. So a cold soba noodle dish with vegan scallops. And we're gonna make those using king oyster mushrooms. And I'm also gonna make a Jap Chai inspired dish. Jap Chai is a Korean dish made with glass noodles. You guys know I picked up the Korean sweet potato glass noodles. So we're gonna use those for that recipe. So let's get started. Both of these recipes are super easy to make, very delicious and perfect for the warmer months because you can eat them hot or cold. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and everyone hit the like button if you wanna see more vegan recipes. If you're not already familiar with soba, soba are Japanese noodles made with buckwheat flour. They're super good. They're kind of a nutty, um, richer taste. Nutty is, I think, a good way to describe them. But they're wonderful hot or cold, but I gotta say I do prefer them cold. So they make a really nice, you know, noodle salad with vegetables. So we're gonna cook these up and uh, saute some vegetables and make the vegan scallops for them. I make soba noodles all the time because they're so satisfying and delicious. Start off by cooking the soba. Add the noodles to boiling water and cook for five minutes. Drain, then rinse the noodles under cold water to stop them from cooking. To make the sauce for the noodles, I'm mixing soy sauce, rice vinegar, sesame oil, and maple syrup. Stir that and set it aside. To make the vegan mushroom scallops, simply slice and discard the bottom tough part of the trumpet mushrooms, and then cut the mushrooms into one inch pieces. Use a paring knife to score each side of the mushroom in a checkered pattern. Place the mushrooms in a bowl and then brush the salts onto the tops. Set them aside while you prepare the other ingredients. Thinly slice a red bell pepper. Use a julienne peeler to make carrot noodles. And if you don't have a peeler, you can julienne, AKA thinly slice these carrots with a knife. Slice the white part of a green onion and mince a few cloves of garlic. I actually meant to add the garlic to the sauce sooner, so I'm gonna do it now. To cook the veggies, warm oil in a skillet and then add the green onion, peppers, and carrots. Cook on medium heat until the carrots are tender. I like some golden char on my carrots because it adds flavor. Remove the veggies from the skillet then add the marinated mushrooms. Cook the mushrooms on each side over medium heat for about five minutes until they are golden and tender. Now that we have our soba noodles cooked, our vegetables cooked, and our scallops prepared as well, I am going to pour this marinade back onto the soba noodles. And I actually had to add a little bit of water to dilute it, which I usually do and the full recipe will be on my blog, but that's just gonna, I mean, make it less salty because it was pretty salty to begin with. And then add the vegetables in. There we go. That looks good. And then just put the scallops on top. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers because otherwise it's gonna take so long. Okay, so the last thing we gotta do, we're just gonna add the green onion to garnish. I have a huge jar of sesame seeds. There you go. So that is our cold soba noodle salad with vegan scallops that are so flavorful, so delicious. This is a really great meal for meal prep. It will keep for a long time, up to five, seven days if you don't double dip. But it's really a great one for meal prep because it has that sauce and that marinade and as the days go by, it's just gonna get more and more delicious. And the mushrooms will keep their texture as well and you can eat it cold. So bonus points for this one. Now we're gonna move on to our Jap Chai inspired sweet potato glass noodles. Super easy also. Um, well, not as easy because you have to cook every part separately and there's a few more parts. But so I'm gonna start by just chopping up our vegetables, preparing our mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna make a quick mushroom and 
and noodle marinade slash sauce, just like we did with the last recipe. And then we can cook it all up, combine it all together, and then we can finally eat. Add sweet potato glass noodles to boiling water and cook for five minutes. Drain and rinse them under cold water, just like we did with the soba. These noodles are super long, so we're gonna need to cut them with scissors. Now prepare the veggies. Mince garlic and thinly slice a yellow onion. Make carrot noodles and thinly slice a red bell pepper again. Clean the tops of the shiitake mushrooms with a wet kitchen towel, and then cut them into very thin slices. These are going to be so yummy. To make the sauce, combine soy sauce, maple syrup, and sesame oil. Saute the onions and garlic first, then remove them and saute the carrots and peppers. The veggies should be cooked separately to prevent overcooking. Lastly, cook the shiitake mushrooms in a little bit of the marinade. This is my favorite part. Once they are tender and fragrant, add the noodles and veggies to the hot skillet. I forgot to film the broccoli, but this is just some steamed broccoli, though sauteed is even tastier. Add the sauce and toss the noodles, making sure everyone is coated. Do this over medium heat because you want to heat those noodles again. This looks so delicious. Ooh, and it's nice and hot. So we have a cold noodle dish and a hot one. Mmm, it smells amazing. We were eating the mushrooms. Super flavorful. And some broccoli, which I almost forgot to add. Very pretty. So there's our Jap Chai inspired hot noodles, hot sweet potato noodles. They're super yummy. Where's my fork? I'm not gonna eat this one right now. I'm gonna eat it out of the pan right now because that way I can take photos of the plated one. But let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Something about the glass noodles, they really do a good job of soaking up whatever you you season them with. So the sauce is just like soaked up right in there. So delicious. This is super delicious. I hope you will give this one a try. We also have to taste the soba one though. So that's our tap chai. These are obviously pretty similar, but the noodles are quite different. Soba versus the sweet potato noodles. You give it a little toss. So this one, Gonna make sure we have our vegan scallops on top. Okay, we're gonna finish this one off with some onion too. This one especially you can appreciate some more greenery on the plate, on the noodles, and just a little bit more of the sesame seeds because it looks so pretty. Yum! <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, let me try this one. Mm, I'm gonna have to get one of these mushrooms too. I know I'm hungry, but these are legit. Really good. So in this video, I wasn't able to show you how to prepare every single thing that I bought at the grocery store the other day. And by the way, if you haven't already seen that video, go back and watch it. It's lots of fun. Hopefully you'll get some good ideas about what you can be buying when you go to your local Asian market, Korean grocery store, international market, a lot of fun stuff. Um, but yeah, I also hope you try these noodle recipes. We have the hot one, the cold one. They're both absolutely delicious, super nutritious, filling, colorful, everything I like in my noodle dishes. I'm gonna have the recipes for both of these on my blog, I'll link them down below. I hope you guys will give these recipes a try. They are so yummy. Let me know which one you're gonna try first or maybe you're gonna do both of them at the same time, which I think is a fantastic idea. But hope you like them. Don't forget 
to tap the like button on this video and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next week with a new video bye